Hi guys, welcome back to another one of my videos. So today I'm gonna be talking all about my breast augmentation. And if you haven't seen that video, just go ahead and watch it. I did get my surgery back in March, so it's been about three or four months now. And I'm just gonna be talking more in depth about the surgery, my experience and stuff like that. And I'm gonna be mentioning some stuff that you guys might wanna know if you wanna get the surgery too. And if I'm looking over here, it's because I have my iPad with like everything that I'm gonna talk about. So first things first, I just wanna say you get what you pay for. And for me, I ended up paying you know more money because I wanted the better experience. I wanted a better doctor and everything like that. Like if you're trying to save money, then you should not be thinking about getting surgery. You know what I mean? Because surgery is like the last place you wanna try and be cheap because that's definitely gonna come with complications and you're just putting yourself at risk. So that makes no sense. But yeah, I did get mine done in Beverly Hills. I ended up paying 12,000 in total for everything the consultation, the actual surgery, the anesthesia fee, literally all of that was included in that price. And I feel like that's kind of on the higher end, but like I said, my doctor knew what he was doing. I saw a lot of um, other people's like, well, not a lot. I watched maybe like a couple other people's surgery videos and I could tell like they were just, they were on some other shit because they were like in pain. And honestly, for my recovery process, as you guys saw from my video that I already posted, it was super easy. Like those, I think I filmed the three days after my surgery, like two or three days after my surgery. And that was the worst of it. After that, it was literally all uphill. Like I said in the video, I was like, you know, up moving around the same day like i had to do my stretches and that's why it's so important to really research the doctor and like the type of work he does see before and afters and things like that because obviously if you've never had the surgery you don't know so you don't want to go with like just a random doctor that might not even be able to do the job right you know what i mean and even just like the sizing itself is really important too when it comes to like the healing process and like your actual results because if you go too big like that's obviously going to come with complication and stuff like that so it's just better to be safe than sorry in my opinion the healing process super easy literally the next week i was back like back, you know in my regular lifestyle doing my everyday things and after the first month i could start like working out again lower body which is basically all i do anyway what was i even saying <laughs> like i said in the video i mentioned how many cc's i got so my right side i got four 15 cc's and my left side i got 355 cc's just because they were naturally uneven he did it like that just to even them out and before i was like a 32 b like a small b like i was flat and now i'm a 32 d full d so yeah, um, honestly, in the bitches at Victoria's Secret don't even know how to measure because I went in there and was like, can I get measured? Like, you know, I'm trying to see what size I am. She's like, oh yeah, like what size do you usually wear? I was like, shit, I don't know, I asked the doctor. Like, and they were like, oh, you're a 32C. I was like, I was like, no, I didn't, I didn't do all this just to go up one cup size, like no. And then I tried on the D and that was my size, like, no, they were tripping. So just to give you guys like an idea, and obviously that's gonna look different on everyone depending on your height and like how much you weigh and stuff like that. But for me, that's what fit my body perfectly. And I basically got as big as I could without like, you know what I'm saying? Like compromising my health or whatever. I'm super happy with the results. Like obviously that's, that goes without saying. Like I don't have anything to complain about. I would say overall pain was like a three out of 10, maybe a four. It really wasn't even painful. To be honest, it was just like sore if anything and just kind of like uncomfortable. Like, I have to get them done in the future, then I definitely would do it again because it's not like they last your whole life. They last for around like 10 years, I'm pretty sure. Then you have to pretty much get them redone at that point. That just depends, honestly, everyone's different. So another thing that really made me want to get the surgery is when I was at the consultation, he was basically saying that I had to take out my piercings to get my surgery. And when he said that, I was like, just go ahead and book the appointment because I'm getting it done for real. Like, it's not even a question anymore. If my piercings hurt way more than the surgery. So if I was gonna take them out, you know, for the surgery and they closed up or whatever, I'm not getting that shit repierced. Like, it just hurts too much. You know, it's worth it though, but yeah they tried to like um make me take out all my piercings i think i ended up taking out like some of my earrings um and i don't know if i still have my belly ring in on my surgery day but i leave my nipple piercings in and actually the first question that i asked them when i got out of my sleep was do you guys have to take any of my piercings out and they were like no and just to let you guys know this the scar is like underneath so it's not even anywhere near like where my piercings are and the scar is like barely there like it just keeps getting lighter and lighter and you can't even see it because like i said it's underneath so it's like they're they're like on top of it they kind of cover it like already so before my surgery i did have to go and get blood work they gave me a list of prescriptions and i just went and picked them up pain pills which was only like a couple and then there's like a nausea pill that you take the day of surgery i mean every place is different but that's just you know what happened in my experience and i also had to get like a covid test and do like a urine sample and it kind of sounds like a lot but it's literally just one appointment that you go to and then they do all the shit like the same time i'm gonna talk a little bit more about the healing process itself but when i got out of surgery i was wearing like that black compression bra that i showed you guys and basically i had to wear that bra every day all day and night 24 7 for the first i think it's like the first month and then after your one month post-op appointment then you pretty much only have to wear that bra at night 
and so that's what i was doing yeah, after a month like you're pretty much healed you can just go back to like a regular bra this month i was wearing that black bra and then i had to put like aquaphor on my actual incision and then i put some thin layer of gauze like on top and then once a month passes you don't have to do that anymore and then instead what they tell you to do is get this silicone tape and just put it right over the scar and you just wear it like i said the scars are like pretty light um even now like they're already faded and they just keep getting lighter and that's what i did i think for the next like two months and then finally at my three months was when i was like okay just back to like you know regular regular shit because i was fully healed at that point and personally for me i did the silicone every day for like the full two months and i wore the bra like every day and night i was making sure i did all that shit because you know i was like okay i just went through all this like you know spend my money and stuff so let me take care of it like let me actually follow the aftercare instructions if you're gonna take away anything from this video i would say that the most important is make sure you trust the doctor that you're going to and that you actually take care of them afterwards because you know you could go to like the best doctor ever but then you end up getting messed up in the healing process because you didn't do what you were supposed to do and they didn't heal properly you know what i mean but trusting your doctor is super important too as you guys saw in my video i was not nervous at all like seriously i was just feeling calm and excited like the whole time i was a little bit nervous the day before like my period off appointment after the appointment i had like no anxiety because you know they explained to me a little bit more like, what we're gonna do and just made me feel really calm about it and so i had like no doubts in my mind nothing telling me no don't do this like i was 100 percent like for it like ready to get it done and i was just super excited and i feel like maybe a lot of people can feel anxiety when they don't trust the doctor that they're going to because i know i would i would be scared as for post-op appointments i had one obviously the next day I had one a week later and then i had a one month a three month i'm gonna go back in another three months so that'll be six months and then from there you just go once a year just to make sure you know nothing's wrong with them or anything because like i said they don't last forever so as long as you're like going once a year then you're good but yeah i think i pretty much talked about everything that i wanted to let me know if you guys have any more questions because i'll answer them in the comments or whatever but yeah, I hope you guys like this video and it helped you out. Maybe if you're planning on getting the same surgery or you're just curious. But anyways, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video.